morning. Ah, ah, sleeps? But you're not new in this house now. You have to be careful, eh? Before you damage your fine face. You know, surgery is expensive. Yes, ma. I've heard you. So what's up with you? Where are you coming from? My dear, I went for a job interview. You know, it's high time I start putting my life together. <laughs> now me. Mm -hmm. Finally. You're serious with life. Huh? Serious care. Who seriousness help? Please. The only reason why I got this job is just so I can take good care of myself. By the way, waiting in this house to chop and start. Um, please, what's the time? Five minutes past four. Okay. You have somewhere to go to. Ben will be home any time from now. You need to leave. Eh? And so if he comes back? He doesn't like me bringing visitors to the house without his consent. Me? Visitor? Are you sure you did not hit your head when you slept? Mm. Babe, please now, just go. I'll call you and explain things to you. You seriously want me to? Fresh air? What happened to the fan? Nothing. I needed something natural. Oh shit. What did you prepare for dinner? Jollof rice and chicken. If I wanted that, I would have stopped by a restaurant. Prepare for the jam and negusi. Ben! It took me time for me to prepare that. You can't just reject it and demand for another. Tessie, are you sick? Are there a question of authority in this house? You know that I don't have to put food on your table? Clothes to you? Well, that would have been shared responsibilities if you had allowed me to work or start a business. What is it with you and your ego? I'm very lucky I'm in a good frame of mind today. Else, I would have showed you that I paid your bad price. Who will you do? Hit me! Go on! Hit me again, Ben! That's what you're good at! Woman bitter!
This is Nigeria. And in Nigeria, we discipline our children. Now, take that money back before your daddy finds out. But mom, I need this. Bella, take the money back. I need it, Shh, mom. Take it back, Bella! Who I took 1,000 years from my wallet? I got deaf. Who took money from my wallet? I'm sorry, Dad. I took it. You did what? Eh? Hey, hey, you hey, did hey, what? Hey, calm down. Calm down, please. She's just a child. Don't beat her. I'll talk to her. Make sure she doesn't repeat herself. A child that steals? Is that what you've been taught in school? Is that what you've been teaching her? Can't just do anything right. So useless to me. to make mistakes. We have computers out there. Where is the take So sit up and do what you're paid and set. You're tired of working for this company. today in the office. What attitude? Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. Jessica, do you realize I'm your husband and was among the people you insulted? Honey, you of all people should know that that means business with pleasure. At home, you are the husband, but at the office, I am your boss. So don't bring office matter into our home. Whatever happens in the office remains in the office. No, it doesn't. How do you want my colleagues to respect me? When you talk without control, you insulted me as well. Look, Donald, I'm not doing this. I'm very tired. I need to rest. Have a long day tomorrow. Is it really not? I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll show up. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love. For the fakeness, if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate. Every word I move, so descriptive, like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people who patented. Being negative when you should be getting after it. 
I got facts over facts over tracks This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I'll be an incompetent Mental health is confidence Dreams and some honestness I'm not here to save the day That's for you to take away I could play a million mind games But instead I say Something not illogical Something that is topical Rub it on and watch it go Make yourself unstoppable Dreams are irresponsible But they're always possible If you just believe You could be so remarkable Thoughts in my head A collage and they spread I'll be great one day Going off of my meds No I'm not giving up No I'm not giving in I will make it to the top Taking off in the wind I gotta make it I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind, it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages of bacon Modern kingdom for the taking Now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to- No, I need to tell him the truth Hey, have a drink Don't fall for me and Eh? Fall again Ha 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 So big. You mean you don't go out again? No? Are you under house arrest or something? No, me. I don't know what's happening in my marriage anymore. My husband has changed from a loving husband to a monster. Even Bella is scared of him. Oh, I'm praying, and I know that he will change. <laughs> praying! Babe, you better look for escape route to save yourself and that of your daughter. What can prayer do in this situation? See, don't die for nothing, no. I will not die. <laughs> I'll scale through. Mm. Enough of me already, so. I said, walk, please. Mm, walk. It's okay for now. No complaints yet. Mm. At least the people there are civilized. I'm so jealous of you right now. Mm -hmm. I wish I had the opportunity to walk. I'm so bored in this house. Yeah, I understand how you feel. But you know, your husband is he's a very wicked man. Yes. How can he reduce you, who graduated with a distinction, to a housewife? And on top of that, he maltreats you. It's okay, he may be listening from outside. Free me, Joe, free me. Who cares if he's listening? See, Tessie, it's high time you do something about this wicked husband of yours. Seriously, if this is marriage, huh, it's better I die a single lady. In this age when men chase after women who are educated, your husband got your mind. Look, an employable and sound graduate, all in the name of marriage. The devil is a liar. What's your advice I do? I can't leave my marriage. I can't even go home. My parents won't accept me. I don't have money. Nowhere. Nowhere to go to. <laughs> don't worry, eh? We'll work something out. I'm here for you and Bella. Thank you, Mommy. Come here. It's okay. 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 It
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh my God. what happened to you? My husband, sir. My husband wants to kill me. He beats me every day. No matter how little my mistake is, you people should help me and get the police. Because I can't go home, he will kill me. Calm down, calm down. Nothing of sorts will happen to you, okay? We came to the right place. See, in this organization, we're waging war against domestic violence on women and children. Do you have kids? Not just that, we are newly married. I have lost a pregnancy due to the abuse I received. Oh, sorry, sorry about that, but you're safe now, okay? My secretary will attend to you while I talk with our sponsors on getting legal support for you. Thank okay. you very much, sir. God bless you and you're welcome. You're welcome. Sorry. <laughs> Assigned to send an email to Pacific Company. I, uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I was assigned to do that. So what has it to be sent? I forgot. I'll do that right now. You must be very stupid. If we lose that client, get ready to lose your job also. See this stupid lifestyle of yours you live outside? It ends today. It's what you're watching me. Why do you embarrass me everywhere in the office? Do you realize I'm your husband? Donald, you needed to official sign it. That I, I forgot to sign mail doesn't mean you should use abusive word on me. What impression are you giving to my colleagues? If you were in my shoe, I would leave you. Bad, I guess. Baby, please. It's not what you think. Don't dare baby me if you can't treat me as one. Well. Baby, please. Excuse me. Baby.
shit house. Stupid woman. <laughs> Bullshit. Jessica, this is my resignation letter. I'll get another job to support the family. Henceforth, you do your duty as a wife also. Who had offered to lecture the women without charges? Reasons because she was once big. Wow, also, who is this person? One Miss Ketchum Bosco. I don't think I know her. What about our sponsors? Hope they are still attending. Yes, sir. Okay, I guess that's all for now. We'll have to. I'll be leaving very soon, so you go and prepare yourself for tomorrow. Yes, sir. Alright, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate the great turnout towards this program. It shows how determined we are to end domestic violence in our society. Without wasting time, we invite Mrs. Catherine Bosco, our special speaker. What are you doing here? How did you become the guest speaker? Sit your stupid bullying ass down! Thank you very much. I'm here to tell my story. My husband here runs an NGO that solicits for human rights and fight against domestic violence. But the truth is, 
I'm a victim of what he's fighting against. Mm. He's a hypocrite! Wow. And he does not practice what he preaches. These bruises on my face and my arms were inflicted on me two nights ago because I refused him sex. Mm. It all started when I lost my second pregnancy. And since then, I couldn't take in again. My husband here got mad because the baby I lost was a boy. Since then, he became cold towards me. He hit me at every slightest instant. He stopped me from working. He abused me emotionally. And he killed my self esteem. But thank God for a friend like Naomi. And a strong daughter like Bella. They encouraged me to speak up and end my suffering. That's why I'm here. I am not Catherine Bosco. I am Tessie Ben, the wife of Ben Okafo, the organizer of this program. You all attend. Thank you very much. Tessie, what have you done to my career and my public image? <laughs> Good riddance to bad luck. 